Okay, let's start with the idea. You, you are now put in charge, just like uh, Congressman Jordan has been. You're in charge of a committee. It's a part of the deal. We got a speaker, but part of the deal was you get to be in charge of the committee. What do you do with the WTF committee? <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that, Kevin, um, because in talking on the Judiciary Committee about that, um, Massey and, and Jordan and a few others going, well, maybe since Louis is going to be out of Congress, we hire him to spearhead the operation from the civilian side. But uh, I, I don't know. For so long, I've held out hope that even though there was corruption at the FBI, at the headquarters, that I just knew there were so many good FBI agents around the country but so many of them have been corrupted by the influence, the corrupt influence in the headquarters in Washington. Uh, I mean, just one of the most blatant things, they have a skiff at the seventh floor, the headquarters level of the FBI, and there was a whistleblower that said, and, and I've been in lots of skiffs, yeah. you can't have a phone, a smartwatch, you, there can't be traces of Wi-Fi in the skiff. That's where you go talking, especially in the headquarters of the FBI, about our biggest, most confidential secrets. And the whistleblower said they have Wi-Fi in there. There's people taking smartwatches, but uh, cell phones, and the deputy director had carried a cell phone in there. That would allow our enemies to know everything they're being, that are, that's being discussed at the top level. And the deputy director issued a statement that that was a lie. And then a couple of people became whistleblowers that were part of the entity that the DOJ sends out to test skiffs. And, and they said, oh, we tested that skiff. They've got Wi-Fi. They have people going in. Anyway, so they lie. They violate the law. They violate regulations. And that has corrupt, corrupted uh, so many of our offices. Uh, I would, I, I think the thing to do is create another federal uh, law enforcement entity, uh, and you could call it federal law enforcement, but, uh, and then have somebody sift through and make sure we get out the corrupt people and start fresh uh, with people with experience. But you also, that's under the DOJ, and the DOJ has so much corruption. Yeah. And I've been amazed at how politically corrupt uh, Merrick Garland has been. Yeah. And as some of us have said, thank God he did he not end up court. on the Supreme Court. It would have been devastating. But I think that's about where we are. Well, they're building this new headquarters that uh, I saw as larger than the Pentagon or something, on more land or something than the Pentagon. Well, both... The DOJ and the intelligence community. Intelligence community was supposed to have their eyes only on foreign terrorism and FBI only on domestic. Well, they blurred the lines and now they both spy on Americans. And, and each other and, 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 and each other, elected but, officials. And uh, can you imagine you're a, you're a father, your daughter's there, you're at a pro-life event, somebody comes and gets in the face of your daughter and you just push him out of the way and the FBI bursts down your door. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that they do. And I mean, they were intimidating a lady that uh, her nephew had sent her a picture that looked just like her that the FBI had on their list of people there January 6th. And he said, do you recognize anybody in this picture? Well, it looked like her. She said, uh, laugh out loud, that looks like me. You know, don't turn me in. Two days later, the FBI are at her place of employment demanding to know where she was. January 6th, they said she was lying. They told her boss, uh, uh, ask him. She, he, his boss, her boss said, no, she was here. Said, you know, we can put you in prison for lying to cover for it. To cover for you. I mean, and they know good. better. They could look at her cell phone and see exactly. where she was. They could look and at you her transactions. It. These knocking down the doors in the wee hours, alert the media. Those are 100% Gestapo tactics.